Hello everyone, it's Isaac here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'd like to talk about the Nitro Type Casual Mode. Now this feature has been teased for quite some time, um, and it still has not come out in classic Nitro Type style, you know, saying it's going to come out and then it doesn't for a while. They do have a small team, so people need to keep that in mind, and that features are going to take a little while to implement. However, this is a feature I've been really excited for, and I wanted to talk about a fundamental flaw that I've kind of found in it, that I'm surprised more people aren't talking about. I believe Soul to Typing did make a video about this. I didn't. I never really saw the whole video, but I believe this. I kind of realized this after seeing his video. Um, and a quick disclaimer before we get started: I am not trying to point out any sort of exploit or encourage any sort of exploit. Um, I recommend using Nitro Type features only for what they're intended to be used for, and not as ways to further improve your account when they're not intended to be used for those purposes. I do need to say that because if you encourage exploits on NitroType YouTube, you can get in trouble. So I'd recommend just use the NitroType features for what they're designed to use. Don't use exploits. With that being said, I'm going to talk about this exploit people could use. So as you all know, NitroType Casual Mode is when instead of a race being based off of just your speed compared to others, it's based off of how fast you can type above your average, meaning that the the playing field has really been just leveled because now if somebody's typing 120 words per minute average and somebody's typing a 50 words per minute average if the person with the 120 words per minute average all of a sudden types 110 and the person in with like the 50 words per minute average types like 70 the person at 70 words per minute will beat the person with the 120 words per minute average because they typed higher than their average i know that sounds kind of complicated um but I believe Nate Dog has made a lot of good videos about the casual mode. Um, he's has, I think he has early access to it. Um, he must have it because I raced with him a few days ago on casual mode. He invited me and the race was in casual mode. I thought that was really cool. And at first I was a little confused when I got beat by somebody going 40 words per minute until I realized that they averaged like 35 and I actually got a race that was below my average. Um, so I thought that was really cool. However, the exploit is if you purposely take your average way down and then you join the race and then type as fast as you can you're gonna beat everybody really quickly and I don't think it would be too hard to set up several bots to join your race to type um, I don't I don't know how this would exactly be set up because I'm not a coding expert but people could probably set it up where they could get a bunch of really short races or maybe a few normal races as your average keeps getting brought up and then do a few more slow races I'm pretty sure there would be a way that you could get more races done in a quicker period of time. That's not the main exploit. The main exploit is that you could easily beat everybody if you purposely make your average lower. Um, now this is a problem because I feel like when I do casual mode, like I'm going to do casual mode on streams uh, whenever that comes out and whenever I can start streaming again, um, I feel like there will be some people trolling. So again, this is the fundamental flaw is that people are going to use it for bad. Um, and this is just kind of a classic example is it would be a good idea if people aren't stupid. But people are stupid, and I don't mean like a lack of intelligence, I mean they're just stupid in the fact that they like to, they just kind of like to troll people, you know, ruin people's days. Or maybe not, I mean if your day gets ruined over like somebody trolling your nitro type races, maybe you do need to reevaluate your uh, priorities. But, I mean... Still, it's not cool to have somebody troll all your races. I've actually had this happen before where somebody sent a bot into one of my friend's races on my 40, I think it was either my 40 or 50k live stream. Um, and that was really frustrating. So I think this is this fundamental flaw. I really do think they need to maybe have some sort of built-in system to where if you're going to type way, way above your average, you have to do some sort of like... Again, I don't know how they would do this, but I think you would be able to get flagged or something, and then if you continue to do this, if this is a continual pattern, because sometimes people do type way above their average. Sometimes that happens. Um, when I averaged about 120, I got a high of 150. Um, not a ton of people that average 120 get that, but I had a good text. I had just taken a shower, so my hands were nice and relaxed and warm from the water, and I just had a good race, and I can understand how that could happen. But I think Nitrotype, before they release this feature, should definitely implement some sort of, like, thing that if you type this much above your words per minute, then you would be flagged and reviewed and possibly even get in trouble for trolling people's races. 
However, the other problem with this is that if somebody has been grinding for a while, and maybe they're sandbagging, so they're purposely typing slower than they normally do, not with the intents of trolling anybody, they get invited to a casual modes friends race, and they decide they want to type whatever their average is, normally, when they're not sandbagging. Then I could totally see how somebody could get flagged and get in trouble for not actually trolling, they're just that's just how fast they type. Um, so really, no matter what, there are going to be flaws. I still do want this feature to be released, because in the end, even if people use it for trolling, I'm still going to use it during my live streams, and if it gets too bad, I'll just switch over to normal friends racing in which I could probably beat them unless they are botting. Um, I mean, there are some typists that do type faster than me, obviously, that aren't botting, but most of the people that watch my streams that troll send in a bot that types like 300 words per minute. So. Not fun, again, I think it does have some fundamental flaws, but I do think that there are some sort of solutions for it, um, and I do think that it should still be a feature that should be released. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much for today's video. I'm not going to be able to upload tomorrow. That could change. I might have time to upload. Again, a lot of the times I say I can't upload, I'll find time. So don't expect a video, but don't be surprised if you see one either. Um, other than that, though, I can't really think of anything else to say. There's not really a giveaway going on. I know Mobile Typer is running a giveaway right now, so if you want to go check his channel out, it is, I believe, it is recommended on my channels, on my YouTube channel page. But if it's not, just look up Mobile Typer Shorts, and it should bring up his channel, and there should be a giveaway in there. So yeah, if you want an opportunity for some free Nitro Type Cash, go definitely go enter that giveaway. And I think that's it for today's video, so have a fantastic day. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.